Coming in at number six is the living legend, Bruno San Martino. Bruno San Martino was the biggest star of his era. Without Bruno San Martino, there wouldn't be a WWE as we know it today. The WWE is the house that Bruno built back when it was the WWWF. Bruno was the biggest draw. He would sell out Madison Square Garden every single month. He was a champion for so many years. He was the guy that was the focal point and the draw. This was back in the days when people would go to the arena to see one specific person. And Bruno was this major, major box office attraction. You would have um, people from all over New York come to see him. I mean, they loved him. I mean, not just the Italian audience, but he, he appealed to people everywhere. And um, there's no questioning that he was a major box office draw. And there were very few people that could touch him. And uh, he's a guy that, uh, without question, deserves to be in the WWE Hall of Fame. Unfortunately, him and Vince McMahon have not been on good terms, and it's a real shame because a lot of the younger audience doesn't know much about Bruno San Martino, just how big a deal he was during his heyday. And uh, hopefully one day him and Vince will work things out and he'll get into the Hall of Fame, and um, maybe they'll do a deep... They, they need to do some kind of DVD on him because uh, the younger audience needs to know uh, just how, how much he accomplished and how much... Um, he did to make uh, the WWF a, uh, a hot commodity. So hopefully Bruno gets that, and uh, you cannot have a, a top 25 list without him, and he should be at the very top. There's no arguing that whatsoever. 